There was once an explorer named Zinkberg who was assigned the quest of finding the Mushroom Island. I'm doing what? Why not? He was a fun guy. If you make jokes like that, I'm leaving. He traveled every biome in the map. Unfortunately, he had forgotten where it was due to deleting the map files on one of his mods. No, it wasn't my fault. 1.21 got released and I just forgot to put them on, that's all. For days he travelled through treacherous mountainsides with horrible creatures. Even they were too scared to go where he was going. On the fourth day, Zinkberg buried himself up to the head in sand. He waited for his food to cook keeping a watchful eye, as he did. When his food was cooked, he got up, and he consumed some as he looked out over the river. It was at this point that Zygberg remembered his dislike for seafood. Oh, I don't feel so well. Much better. Zinkberg decided to venture out at night to meet the friendly They're not locals. friendly, they're not friendly, they're not friendly. I don't like them, I don't, the little ones hurt. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. He didn't realise how close he came to death. He went to No Hill Tree. And One Tree Hill. But still the Mushroom Island evaded him. It was nowhere in sight. Yeah, but it's pretty. Look at it. Look at it. It's unique. <laughs> when all seemed lost, Zinkberg found the Mushroom Island. The goal of his quest. <sighs> what am I doing here again? I haven't told you yet. No, why am I here? You've sent me on this quest, what am I doing here? When Zinkberg's feet hit the island, it became obvious what his quest was. He was to collect six mushroom cows. Six mushroom... Why six mushroom cows? I... No, it's going to take too long. How am I going to get six back? Wait, <laughs> They're so slow. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, I've broken a lead already. Oh, now I've only got two. Now I've got... Mm. All right, I've got three. Three is not six. Yeah, but I'd, I'll get... Okay, I'll get this one here, and then I'll have four. That'll do. Just four, four is also not six. They're so slow. Come on. I haven't got all day. This is stupid. With his six mushroom cows in tow, Zinkberg made his way back to test the Leash on Boats, part of the new expansion. With his four mushroom cows in tow, what, uh... I lost two before. W with his two mushroom cows in tow, what what happened to uh, the other yeah. ones? This this is much harder than you think. Yes, I'm just, sure it just, is. I, I'm over it. Just and Zinkberg Yay, arrived home. home, happy to be home. Yay! The end. So what's next? No, that's it. What do you mean that's the end? Why did I the, go to get mushroom cows? I don't know. Why did you go to get mushroom cows? You just told me to go and get them. Why did I waste my time doing this? All the people at home will be glad that they spent that four minutes watching me do that piece of rubbish. You know what? Mr. Narrator Man, you are my least favourite of all of Zygberg's characters. I hate you. So, so much.
G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Sorry about that thing at the beginning there. I was just having a bit of fun and it was for me. So I hope someone out there, maybe one person, enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I, what have I been doing this week? This week I have been fixing up the palace again. I It's not all I've done. I also did a really nice build. Well, I haven't done it yet, but I will be doing it soon. Um, yeah, I wanted to get some little bits and pieces finished on this just to bring bring the sort of palace up to up to date and get it sort of done. I, I should have done it last week. Um, so what I've done, I am going to go into free cam and there we go. And I am going to just quickly show you what I've done. So um, I went around these small archways at the entrance way. Uh, I just think that added a little bit of an accent to the front of it. Uh, also did these lines across the middle here to break up sort of the bottom and the top a little bit. Did around the archway in the middle there and the archways around the side. And then did copper up around here with the copper bulbs in the middle of it. I think it looks good. I feel like it needs more copper. Like I feel like if I'm going to bring that colour in, I have to really bring that colour in. Um, I went around, I did some cobbled deep slate on these pillars to give them a bit of an accent as well. And I also went, uh, what else did I do? Oh yes, copper on the top. Yeah, did some little coppers on the top there. Um, I think they look good. I'm, I really am trying to bring that copper in where I can. And then, uh, yeah, and then also did these little towers as well. So just brought the deep slate accents through on those. Um, yeah, so that's about it that I've done to the palace. I think I did both sides, I did. Yes, good, lucky me. I'm glad I remembered to do that. Okay, now follow me down this way. Um, I have also done some work down here in the garden because as you know, I love these gardens so much. Although I don't know what to do with these mushroom cows now, but I will find something to do with them. Um, but they're not staying there. Uh, yes, I decided to do more of this garden coming up this way. So I think this is starting to look good. I, I'm enjoying doing this type of garden, but it does take a lot of resources and it does take a lot of time to do. Um, these manicured sort of things. So as you can see, it sort of comes down now in a wiggly path down there, a couple of extra cypress trees. Um, yeah, I, I think it's coming out really good. I do have one small problem for which I shall need a, sho a shovel, and that is this bit over here. So where it comes up on the edge, um, I'm not entirely sure what I, what I should be doing over here. I know that obviously the ideal is to do it the same as the, as the other side, back over the end there, um, but I don't know how far to take it. See, I think, I think this bit here already goes too far compared to that bit there. And then how do I finish it on the edges? Like I'm, I'm really sort of struggling with it. I, I guess I'll spend some time thinking about it and uh, see what I can come up with. I guess that's the best thing. I could dig through, ooh, nope. Oh, I forgot, I've got to do all that down there too. Anyway, I, maybe I'll just forget all of this for now. Yes, I'm gonna forget all of this now. <laughs> if you've got any great ideas for how to finish this part of the garden off, I would appreciate it. Uh, let me show you what I'm gonna do this week though. Okay, if we just fly over the other side here. So what I'm thinking is there's a beautiful area here that needs something. And, um, and this is sort of important, this, this area, because this is where it gets down on the flat and this is where the city is going to become less sparse and start getting closer to one another. So I want to do a sort of one more of the buildings like the ones on the hill up there, and then we'll start changing it up. Um, so we've got all of this area to do. Maybe I'll do one in there too. Eh, anyway, we'll work it out. I also need to do something with this hill because it's such an eyesore behind um, behind whatever I'm doing here. So I'm going to get building. I'm going to go into a time lapse and show you and uh, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
No, stop the time lapse. Stop it. Stop it. I have a problem. <laughs> so, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to make this too fancy. Um, sometimes I go into a creative world and I build and sometimes I don't. And this is one of the situations where I wish I had. So I've got this little roof down here, right? So the little roof down here that I sort of want to come out this way a little bit. And then I've got the bigger roof here and then around the corner here I've got the even bigger roof here. But it looks bad. It looks really bad. Um, but worse than that, I don't know where it goes on the side here. I can't work out how to mix it back together again. <laughs> so just go... I just this half a roof just sitting here. This sometimes happens when you build. I'm gonna try and go and fix it. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm not having a good night. Okay, so the idea was to go back into replay mod and uh, and finish that off. Sort of have a little interruption and then go back. I thought it would be really cute because I got lost and didn't know what I did. Unfortunately. I forgot to push record on replay mod. So, I have done this. <laughs> There's no point anymore. Honestly, this is no point. I tell you what, I'm just going to make this look pretty and then I'll show you around, okay? Okay. <laughs> look, at the end of the day, not everything always goes perfectly. <laughs> Wait, I see them over there, and I'm not scared of them anymore. I was never scared of them. This is the thing, right? Is that no one was ever scared of these guys. They weren't hard to deal with. They are going to be going to be a mile off. Get them over this way. The the thing was, we none of us wanted bad omen, right? That was the whole thing. Now that bad omen is gone, these guys are just too easy. Look, go on, draw it. I don't care. Where are your friends? Where are your friends? Where are your friends? Or maybe they don't have any friends. Maybe I don't have any friends. What? Hmm. Um, so, what was I saying? Sometimes things don't go to plan. I've got shaders on and I am showing you a thing. Um, it, the hard thing... <laughs> Look... Here's the thing, right? <laughs> I get pictures in my head. I see a thing and I and I think, oh, I wonder if I could do that. The thing in my head has beautiful archways underneath it and it has all these beautiful little intricate details and all this stuff. And then I build with squares and that makes life a little difficult. Um, so I'm not unhappy with this build. I just, I'm maybe not as happy as I could be. I think one of my difficulties with this, I mean, partly is so we've we've come down into this area, right? We have this whole area down here to fill and all the way out to whoop whoop, as we would say here. Um, and when you look this way, all the buildings are starting to look a little bit the same, you know, like, We've gone, we've gone that copper roof that many times. I mean, this one here's got the the deep slate roof, but I think, I think we need to start changing it up now. We're down here. I think this is the area where the city's going to start sort of moving out that direction, and things need to change a bit. So the stuff on the hill, this is like a themed area or whatever it is for for Elfendale, and from here on in, things are going to change. Let's just throw that off for a second the shaders off we don't need shaders on all the time um yeah but i'm pretty happy with this i like the way it came out i do i always say that and i always do really truly like it, it, it the only thing for me is that it's variations on a theme like like how different is this building really from this building apart from the spruce and shading and okay a little bit now yeah. All right, well, maybe it is. But what about this one? Oh, 
Maybe it is there too. This has got the double roof. Look, what I'm saying is this is totally unique and I'm glad to have built it. <laughs> but you get you get what I'm saying, right? Is that although it's although it's different and it's unique and it's different to this and it's different to this and different to this and all the rest of it. But it's starting to get very the same. The roof is the same. I'm doing the same shading in the corners and things. Oh, I did a different one there. I didn't do any there. Look, it's totally unique. That's good. Now let's let's play a game. Uh, it's called Did Zinc Build an Interior? Did he build it? Who will know? Did he build it? Yes or no? It's the new theme song. <laughs> we may never do that again. In fact, I'm pretty sure we won't. So your guess is, yes, Ink did one. Well, you're wrong. Ha 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 ha. I didn't. Didn't do one. We seem very proud of that. I like this little mezzanine sort of level up here that you can't get to. And then the level up the top here that you can't get to as well. They're two of my favourite things in this build. Um, they I gotta, I gotta give myself more time. I really do have to give myself more time. Um, okay, so anything of real interest. So we've brought the, we've brought the diorite with the, with the gate, the iron gates and the lanterns back in, as we have in a lot of the other builds. So, so doing that here and doing that over here, um, as well as up on the stables there. Um, the, this has a nice little sort of patio area. You would you would really utilize this view if you had it. Like this would be something that you would utilize. So I thought, well, of course it's going to have, um, of course it's going to have sort of great great views of this sort of area. And no one can build in front here. So so these are unobstructed views. Listen to me sounding all real estatey, hey? unobstructed views um we have gone with what else have we done that's sort of unique on this oh i've brought the beehives back the little the beehive things i like them around the wood sometimes like just to give an accent or a different shade sort of thing and and i think they look really good went with spruce for the for the flooring on the outside here because it gives a little bit of depth and darkness i haven't bothered with the shading around the the tops and the edges like i have say up here and things um i i have some problems with it and even this here and it's always been a problem and that is the blend between spruce and oak and I wish that I had a way to do that. And I think one of the problems is I keep looking up at this one here and every time I do it, it just looks like a licorice all sort or something like a carob or something, some sort of sweet or lolly or whatever you say in your part of the woods. Um, so I haven't done it with this one. I haven't bothered to to do the shading. I thought it, I thought it looked fine as it is. What I did do though, I did... Um, I did spend a bit of time going around with some bone meal and just messing this area up a lot. Um, throwing in some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone around the base of the thing to try and get it to look a little bit messier, but but still like a pretty build. So, so I think that this adds sort of texture and distraction as well for the eye. And, and that's something that I'm sort of going for on this particular one. But... Um, yeah, I still think it came out pretty good. I haven't done um, I haven't done flowers on every single one of the windows like I normally do. There are a couple of places where there are barrels out and about. Um, I thought the stairs at the front was a different sort of touch. Uh, yeah, I think I think it looks good. But as I say, I really if I was if I was naming my top ten builds on this on this um, server on this world. I don't think, I think it'd be low in the top tens, I think. I, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's okay. Let me sleep. I won't be a second. Okay, so that's done. Um, so that'll do us for this week. 
we don't need a big long episode and we don't need to fill it full of full of junk so so that'll do us we build a nice house and I'm pretty happy about that I am sorry about the replay I just forgot forgot to push the record button again it's a thing I I get caught up in it and I just don't do it why wait did I explain what happened with the roof did I no so I didn't like it I didn't like it at all, so I took the whole lot down and I extended this bit here up, here and here, so I made it so it came to the outside and changed the shape. So I brought this section out further so that it would look different to the rest of the build and, and therefore giving me a point to do this little sort of pitched roof thing. Um, yeah, I just could not get that thing to look any good. And for the first time, in this part of the world, I put a chimney on and I don't like it and I'm going to fix that at some point. Add it to my list of things that I need to fix that I haven't done yet. Interior on the stables is one of them up the top there. Interiors all around. We need to, we, we, I need to put up like a, like a board or something of things that I need to do and start working from that rather than being so distracted. So we did we did work on the uh, gardens over there. We did work on the palace. And we ended up with this nice house. So well done. Good job, guys. <laughs> and I've got two mushroom cows over there that I don't know what to do with. So that's good too. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. You know I love you all to death. I really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you liked what you saw, feel free to throw me a like. I, I enjoy those. They're fun. Um, I will see you probably midweek with a Craftworks episode. I would imagine so. And uh, aside from that, I'll see you next week in here. And we will... I, I'm not going to make any promises. We're going to do something. We're going to build some stuff and get some stuff happening. So that'll be good. All right, guys, you have a lovely week. I will catch you next week and bye.